can I do you for, Congressman? Oh, listen, Clements. The taxpayer is picking up the bill for this call, so I'm going to make it brief. The amount of help I need from a man with your skills has tripled in volume, and that's a conservative estimate. If you're interested in helping me out with this, you can call me, and I'll tell you what I need. The pay will be more than adequate. Once you go down the dark path, it just keeps going, don't it, Stubbs? I'll call if I feel the need to keep you in the lifestyle to which you're accustomed. I'm just an American. I like an American bike. Yeah, I understand. You older, Grandpa, so you like a more sedate ride. Some older, mature <laughs> shit. <laughs> give me that. I give you mature <laughs> shit, Malk. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hell, who that? Malk. Deshaun Johnny, brother of mine. All right. Hey, what's up? Malk's got us a connection, Johnny. I'm good, man. I don't need one of them hair dryers. Oh, oh yeah? You sure now? No, no. It's <laughs> a serious hardware. Mock's got us a connection that ain't got nothing to do with bikes. Oh, yeah? Yeah, explosives. That's right. Okay. With this, we could take the Angels of Death out of business for a long, long time. Oh, you think? With that, it looks like we could take the whole fucking town out of business. <laughs> Motherfucking right. <laughs> so what do you say? Are you down? Oh, man, you gotta ask a question like that? Looks like you're going senile or something, man. That's what I thought you'd say. <laughs> Yo, you fools have fun, but remember this. You get in any trouble, you ain't meet me. Malk, I don't know where you got that shit, man, but one thing's for sure, we will have fun. All right, play nice. Peace, son. Later, Malk. Peace. Later. to that fat fuck Brian. He wants to sit down and call a truce. Brian <laughs> wants a truce? Yeah. Fuck that. Let's go get him. That's what I thought you'd All say. Right, let's do it. Billy's a one-way SOB and he don't give a shit about the bros. No, uh-uh. 
Yeah, you think Billy would stick his neck out for you? You're dumber than I thought. You did it, you did it. You did it, you did it. I knew you'd say that. Just knew you'd say that. You're so predictable. Well, Johnny Little Dickowitz. What a baby. And your babysitter, Billy, is on the inside now, so it's bedtime for you, motherfucker. That's your call, Get the boy. fuck out of town. That's your call, you boy. You're the one taking a nap. Put these assholes in the ground, brothers. left of the Alderney chapter, man. We don't need numbers, man. We need brothers. And that's what we got left. You, me, Angus, Terry, Clay, brothers. You're right about that. Shit. I wish we pinned down Brian, that little weasel. He'll turn up soon enough. Yeah, maybe. See you soon, brother. Come on! Johnny, you remember Ray, right? Yeah, how you doing? How am I doing? I got the feds all over me. I got a boss who's a paranoid wreck, and I got a guy above me in the food chain with a brain like an overcooked artichoke. joke. <laughs> Things are great. Yeah? Sounds like shit to me, but whatever. So, uh, why are you here? I heard you boys is having a little internal dispute. Yeah, where'd you hear that from? From Ashley. You friends with Ashley? <laughs> Everybody's friends with Ashley, tough guy. <laughs> uh, you know, she's a good kid and all. A little messed up, but, you know, she needed a friend. Ray told us where Brian is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, where? And how the hell does he know? All right, all right, all right, all right. Don't go breaking my balls, all right? I talked to Brian a half an hour ago. And listen, I understand where you guys are coming from. And on one end, I don't give a shit. A bunch of grease monkeys want to have an all out gangbang be my guest. You're all adults. So I don't. <laughs> but right now, I need calm. Billy's on the inside. I need a steady flow of merchandise. So it's in my interest to see that you boys calm things down. End this little squabble and get back to work. 
We'll see you later. Yeah, see you later, yeah, Ray. Yeah, bye, buddy. So what do you think, Johnny? I think that guy makes my skin crawl. But now that you mention it, so does Brian. And right now, he's our problem. God damn it! Brian was my brother. Yeah, he was, but so were a lot of people. I don't feel like that shit means too much anymore. So? So I'm gonna go pay Brian a visit and see just what that fat fucker's problem is. See you all later. No, Chico, hold up. Where do you think you're going, man? You gotta hold up to him. I'm talking to you, all right? Back off of him, you stupid shit. Can't you tell the difference between a knock and one of my upstanding business associates? I'm sorry about Andreas here. It's impossible to find good help in this city. I'm supposed Don't to worry about you, it. Okay? Hey, uh, what up, Johnny boy? boy? What up? Talk to your girl. Let's make it happen, Captain. I didn't think you lost bikers got down with people's like Mark here. Then with their sports bike, you with your choppers. <laughs> and looking at the two of you, it don't make no sense to me. It's a crazy city. Well, this is crazy times, Liz. There's a recession going on. And in this troubling economic climate, you gotta make compromises. Malk here is my compromise. 
Hey, yo, fuck you, clown. <laughs> you can compromise these nuts. Shit. Give me some. These ain't probably <laughs> dimes for us. Yeah. People always gonna want what we got to sell. Mm -hmm. Hell, they gonna want even more products when they lose their jobs and ain't got nothing else. Okay, I guess all we gotta worry about is the cops taking us down there. True that, cat. Hey, yo, E, let them know what it is. You gotta take some thieving, snitching motherfuckers and show them I'm a bitch. But I ain't they fucking bitch, okay? They bribed the guard on the Eastboro Bridge to let them through without checking their loan, right? You guys is gonna go down there and tear them apart. Auntie and they? Uh, it is. Now get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay, ma. Avanza, cabrones. ¿Qué? Let's go. Bus. Fucking parade. una criada, Andreas. Watch him. We best use a car here, brother. Come on. Can you get your people to bring our bikes to the drop off? Handle this, Johnny. Lead the way, Johnny. What was all this shit with you dissing me in front of Elizabeth, man? I thought you could handle it. I can't handle motherfucker. She's just one cold female, and I don't want her thinking I'm a bitch. Then I guess you got to prove yourself. No pressure, man. Go fuck yourself, Johnny. This is one serious gun, amigo. This is what they call a street sweeper? That's about accurate for this shit. Take care of this. We're gonna get through yeah, this. Okay, what's breathe. the problem? You're holding traffic up. What's the hey, problem? Hey, we're kind of in a rush here, okay? Honey, Listen to me, man. You gotta get out of the way. You're holding up traffic. What's the problem here? Okay, hey, would you just let us through? Look, you don't gotta exact change. You're not going through. Those are the rules. I don't make them, but I stick to them. So just turn around and head back to the I'll come you? back with all the exact change that you need, all right? Just let us you through, please. Try. We'll pay my bills and put food on the table. Hey, turn around hey, now. Look, I got some change right here. Come on, oh. Come on, let's get this shit moving. All right, this one's on us. Now move your ass. Thanks, guys. You're doing great, honey. It's okay. Just... All right, now, let's do this. Man, you look good in that booth. You should think about a second career. We're about to see what we're made of, people. We just need the shipment, okay? Let's get this over!
a low point in these here global markets, baby. Sure, Mal. I'm just hoping you, me, and Liz can stay out of jail long enough to enjoy it later on. No, Chico, hold up. Where do you think you're going, man? You gotta hold up to him. I'm talking to you, all right? Back off of him, you stupid shit. Can't you tell the difference between a knock and one of my upstanding business associates? I'm sorry about Andreas here. It's impossible to find good help in this city. I'm supposed Don't to worry about it. You, hey, okay? yo. What up, Johnny what boy? Job? What up? Talk to your girl. Let's make it happen, Captain. I didn't think you lost bikers got down with peoples like Mark here. Then with their sports bike, you with your choppers. <laughs> and looking at the two of you, it don't make no sense to me. It's a crazy city. Well, this is crazy times, Liz. There's a recession going on. And in this troubling economic climate, you gotta make compromises. Malk here is my compromise. Hey, yo, fuck you, clown. <laughs> you can compromise these nuts. Shit. Give me some. These ain't troubling <laughs> times for us. Yeah. People always gonna want what we got to sell. Mm -hmm. Hell, they gonna want even more products when they lose their jobs and ain't got nothing else. Okay, I guess all we gotta worry about is the cops taking us down there. True that, cat. Hey, yo, E, let them know what it is. You gotta take some thieving, snitching motherfuckers and show them I'm a bitch. But I ain't they fucking bitch, okay? They bribed the guard on the Eastboro Bridge to let them through without checking their loan, right? You guys is gonna go down there and tear them apart. Auntie Ande? Uh, it is. Now get the fuck out of here! Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, ma. Avanza, Peace. cabrone. Que? Let's go. Bus. Fucking parade. Trame una criada, Andreas! Watch him, We best use a car here, brother. Come on. Can you get your people to bring our bikes to the drop-off? Handle this, Johnny. Lead the way, Johnny. What was all this shit with you dissing me in front of Elizabeth, man? I thought you could handle it. I can't handle motherfucker. She's just one cold female, and I don't want her thinking I'm a bitch. Then I guess you got to prove yourself. No pressure, man. Go fuck yourself, Johnny. This is one serious gun, amigo. This is what they call a street sweeper? That's about accurate for this shit. Take care of this. We're gonna get through yeah, this. Okay, what's breathe. the problem? You're holding traffic up. What's the hey, problem? Hey, we're kind of in a rush here, okay? Honey, Listen to me, man. You gotta get out of the way. You're holding up traffic. What's the problem here? Okay, hey, would you just let us through? Look, you don't gotta exact change. You're not going through. Those are the rules. I don't make them, but I stick to them. So just turn around and head back to the I'll come you? back with all the exact change that you need, all right? Just let us you through, please. Try. We'll pay my bills and put food on the table. Hey, turn around hey, now. Look, I got some change right here. Come on, oh, come on, let's get this shit moving. All right, this one's on us. Now move your ass. Thanks, guys. You're doing great, honey. It's okay. Just... All right, now, let's do this. Man, you look good in that booth. You should think about a second career. We're about to see what we're made of, people. We just need the shipment, okay? Let's 
but he don't bite. <laughs> uh, Andreas! Hey. Andreas! Hey. Why do I pay you to protect me when you well, don't do I, nothing? I was in, in the kitchen. I was doing the thing. I don't want no fucking excuses. Get the fuck back in the kitchen. Pero, okay, también. Okay, también. Jesus! <laughs> hey, Johnny boy. What's up? You had a good time the other day with those boys, huh? Men and their motorcycles. Sure. <laughs> Why we need to hit that convoy so hard? You know, all these bodies can't be good for your business. Ah, uh, you don't think I could survive out here if I wasn't dropping some people? I'm the big boss! Okay. People gonna love you, but they're gonna hate you even more, right? Now you're starting to sound like Billy. They're gonna hate you because you're a woman in this macho fucking world? They're gonna hate you because you're from the island? Super people think Latinos ain't worth shit in this town. When you're the big boss, and you me, these bodies gotta come with it. Okay. 
I came up from a rough background. A man tried to turn me out when I was 14 years old. I fed him his balls. I'm just saying you should limit your casualties. <laughs> when I ended that fucker, I got a reputation in PR. No man touched me after that. Now, I, I ain't saying all men are bad. Would have married three of them if I thought that, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's do this, Liz. Okay, okay. Go get my girl, Martha. She just came in on the Adios flight from PR. You think this place look okay? It's so hard to get it nice again once the assholes have their party. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah? Yeah, she'll love it. Okay. Where? Déjame, suéltame. What? Yo no tengo perico, tú no entiendes. Yo solamente vine aquí para ver la estatua de happiness. Habla inglés, habla inglés. Suck American penis when you get into holding. Liberty swingers, good team, eh? Wow. Drug mule skanks ain't usually this cute. This is gonna be fun. Hey, yo, come on, me. No. I don't know about you, but the America I believe in doesn't deport hard-working young girls like this one. Yeah, well, the only thing this girl works hard at is swallowing bags of coke and in a minute blowing me. So, uh, sir, oh, yeah, it's cool. Hey, oh, hold on. Your name Marta? Si, sí, si. Sí. Uh, come on with me. Come on, keep your head down. Johnny. Nos vemos pronto.
¿Te quedas para comer? Huh? Eat. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. no, 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 no. We gotta go. Shit's gotta get done. All right. Some other time, then. No, I don't think there's gonna be another time, man. Shit's closing in. All these snitches all over the place. You fucking hear that on your wiretap, Andreas? You fucking hear that? Maybe you guys should uh, get rid of him and sell this coke later, huh? You want us to take Marta off your hands? Look after her until the heat's gone? You ain't getting your hands on my baby girl. You only gotta worry about yourself and selling that coke. You don't gotta worry about me, and you don't gotta worry about her neither, okay? Okay. Come on, let's do this. Yeah, we out, son. Adios, amigos. Andreas. Listen, you do your job and let us do our yeah, job. Whatever, man. Go ahead, girl. <laughs> that fucking good? Yeah, it's good. So what you gonna do about it? I'm gonna take it for our own. I don't think so. Well, you best change your mindset, because this right here, man, is happening. Yeah, motherfucker! Oh, you fucked up now, bitch. Holy shit! Yo, you see what Fuck you did? God damn it, man. Fuck this fucking fight, man. Look at you now. See the pain? Yeah, it's a bitch in trouble, big. You trying to kill yourself for sure?
room on that pussy pad. Ha, always space for you, Johnny boy. And maybe we should get us a room together at the Jefferson Motel. I heard you and your brothers like that hardcore, hard rock bonding shit. Quit these flirtations, <laughs> B. All right, all you right. You gotta take this shit back to Liz. Right, right, yo. Catch you around, Johnny. You wanna kiss your daddy? Whoa there. Peace out. See you boys later. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I've always been a good boy. You know me, Ma. Y yes, I'll make commissioner. No, I don't care about Packy. Listen, Ma, I I've got to go. Uh, love you, too. Good to see you. I'm sure. Uh, you know, it's funny, but I see a lot of me in you. You know why? No. You know there's no good. And no evil. Just shades of fucking gray. Whatever. You make things 1% better, that's enough. That's our duty. If you say so. Oh, I do say so. I want to make things a bit better. By any means necessary. And you? What do you want? I want to get paid. Sure. Yeah, sure you do. So listen. I got something I need you to do. This is the last time. Of course. Some drug dealer is holed up in a tower block in East Holland. Now, this scumbag's been pushing drugs, pimping women, you name it, he's done it. I need him dealt with. Isn't that police work? <laughs> sure. <laughs> and the moon is made of cheese and the streets is paved with gold. Wake up! Excuse me? The guy's guilty as sin! He is sin! <laughs> but, it'll take me a year to get the evidence. More, maybe. And maybe good men will get taken down by that <laughs> evidence. <laughs> maybe people make mistakes. But this guy is scum. How much? Oh, how much? Good money. Uh, two G's. Two? You mean five. <laughs> you know, if someone was to tell me you were some fresh off the boat killer with more balls and brains, I'd say he was about right. Uh, okay, you got a deal. Head on up to Vaux site and call me. Five G's. I'm outside the project. Where is he? Should be on the second floor. Keeps an eye on all his boys from up there. The guys you see are gonna be working for that scumbag in one way or another. Anyway, these projects all got the same layout. A staircase leading up on either side. Try to get off the ground floor before getting violent. Violent? Me? Yeah, you. Remember, you're doing a real service for the community by getting rid of this scumbag. Francis McCreary is the community now? You're starting to sound like your friend Manny. You got the wrong people, son. Whatever. Clarence told me that there's any fool who don't belong here. You're dead, friend! I got a clean shot! Words away from me! Suck it up and stay down! 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 What is 
about Clarence anymore. You did a good thing, Nico. That boy was mean. He had a tongue on him, too. Always talking his way out of court, willing to compromise anyone to get out of trouble. Thank God for real justice. Are you trying to get us both killed, you fucking asshole? What? I send you to destroy an organization and you only make the boss disappear. Now his chief lieutenant is holed up in an apartment, and he wants to speak to the Fed. Whoa, hold on. An organization? No, you fucking idiot! I paid you to do a man's job, you amateur, you fucking boy! No, 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 no. You sent me to kill one guy. One guy who would put you in prison. Bullshit! <sighs> All right, I'll tell you what, genius. I'll tell you fucking what. Tell it to the judge. Tell him I only sent you to kill one guy, so it ain't your fault. <laughs> I wonder what he'll say. Maybe he'll let you walk, on account of you being brain dead and totally fucking <laughs> mentally retarded. Maybe he will. Either way, you're screwed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. Look, you gotta do this for me. For us. Come on, you idiot. One more. That guy's a fucking lowlife. He means nothing. If there is a god, and he loves us, if there is, he'd want this cut dead. Guy sells heroin to kids. The world is full of bad people. But we've got a lot to lose. I don't have anything to lose, Mr. McCreary. <sighs> How much? You know my price. No. Five. You call. Cool. I don't care. You bastard. Okay. Now the guy lives in an apartment on Denver between V and W. He's holed up there pretty tight. I left a rifle for you in the trunk of a car at the corner of Albany and M. So go there, give me a call. I found the place. Okay, the folks hold up in his apartment. It's on the fourth floor on the east side of the street. Go up onto the roof of the building opposite to get a shot at him. What if he isn't standing by the window? Then use your damn imagination to get him to the window. Jesus! Call me when it's done. Come on, this is ridiculous! Hey, you can't... The all-new Tower of a Meal at Burger Shot. It's the six-pound burger. Puta, I'll break your fucking kneecaps. Hola, mi amor. What's good, yo? I dealt with him. You did the right thing. I hope that the kids out there get this message and realize that there are better paths to take. I'm not interested in your sermon, Mr. McCreary. Let's not pretend that this was anything other than business. There's nothing wrong with admitting that you've done some good. The community thanks you. 
1% better. If 100 people manage that, it'll be 100%. You got a Cousin, I have bought us a present. You bought it or I did? Nico, I'm offended. I've got us an apartment in Algonquin. What did I say when you got here? Penthouse. Model on each arm. And you have paid for this place? It wasn't so long ago that your debts got you kidnapped by the Russian mob. That was a cold streak. Now I'm hot, cousin. Hotter than the models will be bedding. I can't lose! Roman, we have spoken about your gambling. Wait until you see the new place, NB. You will change your song. So what? I took on a little debt. Oh, table for one? We got a beautiful bacala saddle. I'm here for, for someone. I'm here for Ray. Oh, Ray, why did you say so? Ray's a beautiful man, you know what I mean? Uh, he's in the back. Thanks. Hey, Nikki! Ha <laughs> ha! How you doing, kid? Fine. Ah, <laughs> hey! <laughs> that Mick bastard friend of yours says you're okay. Good. That you're reliable. Yep. But can I trust you? Hmm? Why go through all this? Why stick your neck out? Why do all this work? Because I need the money. And because I can't do anything else. And because I'm good at it. Sure. And because I'm trying to find someone. Okay, maybe we can help. See how we do. So anyways, I got this friend. Only the friend ain't my friend no more because he ain't getting me the videos. Okay. Seems this guy does not respect the waste management business. Lives over in a project on Galveston near you. Name is Teddy Benavidez. Do what you gotta do. Somebody gets burnt, so be it. Fine. And you'll pay. Hey, you kidding? I'll pay double. Good. But, you mess up, bad things are gonna happen. You know what apartment Teddy Benavides is in? No sé, I don't know no Teddy's. You sure about that? You want the last thing to come out of your mouth to be a lie? Shit, man. He's up on the top floor, apartment 151K. You have to walk the last few floors. Elevator don't go up there, they're fixing it up. Hey man, who are you? Are you gonna finish me quickly? Yeah! Yeah! You're gonna make it, man! Not that preocupes! You're dead, friend! Okay, okay! Don't kill me, man! Yeah! <laughs> 
You're glad you messed with me! I'll cut off your fucking head! Oh, my mouth. Uh. Bocino a lot of money. You should have paid. Those putos too old. They're finished, fool. The city don't belong to them no more. I wouldn't pay them shit. Fuck you! Nico Beat is at this location. Let's 
caught in a Korean contact of mine into the country with a boatload of fake hundred dollar bills. As long as the ones he's paying us with are real, it doesn't matter. I owe you an apology, Nico. I was dosed when you told me you killed Bucky and his boys. Yeah, you were out of it. I haven't felt safe since Aiden O'Malley went inside. Who's Aiden? Me, Bucky, and Aiden. We all cared about the same stuff. We came together for a cause we believed in. At least, I thought I believed in it. I was young. This was a while ago then. Yeah, so Aiden got caught with something when he was somewhere he wasn't meant to be. Needless to say, he'll be inside for a time. Him and Bucky think I talk. Couldn't see no other way how he got caught. From what I hear, Aiden still rants about me to anyone who'll listen. I know how it feels to be betrayed. You got that look about you. You Parks boy? Yes, I Kim. You Dedeka? Yeah, welcome to America. We're meeting your friends in Bohan. I'll text you the route you gotta take. Best way to avoid checks. We'll cover your rear. Another immigrant, arriving in this city. Trying to make something of himself. Brings a tear to my eye. When this is done, I won't have to leech off my brothers no more. This deal should mean I can take care of myself. Providing it goes to plan. It's in the hand. What the fuck is this? Think I got a clue? Use our boat to shield Tim from these fuckers. I don't give a shit if this thing sinks. We gotta protect him. I'd rather swim home tonight than come back tomorrow to die for those notes. for a fix. I wouldn't know. Could be a coincidence anyway. Or fate. You sound like my mother. We are. Got him here in one piece. That was a deal. Thanks, Nico. Thank you, Miss McGarry. Not such a smooth journey. Yeah. Got a bit hairy out there. Good thing you have your sea legs. I hope the rest of your time here is more peaceful. That's all you can hope for in this godforsaken world. See you around, Nico. Don't put all the payoff up your arm, Derek. Only place for it, me boy. Only place for it. See you soon. All right, boy? Yes. Good. How do you do it? I went into a situation full of optimism, full of naivete. I got burnt. Look at me. Like smack on a fucking spoon. Well... How do you manage? I don't know that I got off so lightly. Mm, uh, we all got our demons. Aiden O'Malley. What about Aiden O'Malley? <sighs> I heard he's being moved. Uh, maybe this is our time. Put all this crap to bed. 
Get off the drugs. Live with the memories. Hayden's being moved by Van from the bacon factory. He's been talking shit about me. Back to the Albany State Correctional Facility. Please, Nico, boy, just this last one. Please. Sure, Derek. You and me. We're the same. The same. The, the same. We're, we're the same, you and me. Nico. I hear my brother Derek is asking you to ice his old drinking buddy Aiden O'Malley. Yeah, he has. What's the big deal? O'Malley is in government custody. He's got more police protection than the mayor. I left a truck with a rocket launcher in it for you in an alley off of Applewhite in Alderney City. A truck with a rocket launcher in it? What am I meant to do with him? Who knows? Anyway, the convoy with O'Malley in it has to go through the booth tunnel. You're gonna get there first and block the road with your truck. I'm gonna come in from the rear and block them that way. Pick up the truck and give me a call. When we have him blocked in, we take down the escort and make off with the prisoner. Why don't we just kill the fucker there and dead? That's probably what Derek would have told you to do in his smacked out state. Problem is, he's the first one they talked to if that happened. We gotta make this look like a prison break. Great! They're leaving the old cop shop now. Should be at the booth tunnel soon. I'm in position, Peggy. All right, man, we're coming to you. Take out the escort, but keep Derek's pal alive. What's this jerk think he's doing? Hey, Mitch, can you find out what this guy's up to? Hey, buddy, we're gonna need you to move this thing. I think we might have a problem here. Get rid of the escort, Nico. Come on. They're making a play for the prisoner. We gotta lose this heat before we can send this fucker where he's going. Okay, man. First thing we got to do is dump this prison van. Cops will be looking. Okay, there's a car. Get in that vehicle, prisoner. 
All right, Nico. Now that we lost him, we gotta go out to the cliffs in Leftwood. The cliffs of Leftwood, then. Is there a boat coming or something? Where am I going? You're going to a faraway place, my friend. Damn right! Somewhere the cops will never find me. Nobody's gonna find you where you're going, friend. Shit! I don't even know who sent you guys. Who do I got to thank for springing me from the joint? We're doing this on behalf of an old acquaintance of yours. I knew I wasn't forgotten about. I knew that no matter how long I rotted in there, people on the outside world still remember me. People remember you, all right. You're at the front of certain people's minds. Well, who is it? Not Julia. She stopped writing and coming on visiting days, but I could tell she was still thinking of me. I knew it! You'll find out who it was when we get there. In the meantime, shut the hell up, buddy. All right, friend. Thank you. Out you come, old boy. The cliffs. The sea air. I really am free. I could cry. You've made me a happy man, boys. Now it's time to tell me who asked you to do this. Derek McCreary. He's my brother. Derek? But he ratted me out. He's the reason I ended up in that place to start with, the spineless... So you thought you'd talk about him? He's my brother, and guys like you are killing him. Nico, get rid of dear old Aiden. Aiden is dead. That's the end of a chapter. I can close the book on a whole lot of my past now, Nico. Thanks. Maybe a clean break is in order. A fresh beginning. Good luck to you. No one's here. Just you and me. Come in, come in. Beer? No thank you. Oh, I agree. Let's have whiskey instead. Packy swears by you. Absolutely swears by you. Yeah? <sighs> you handled yourself well on the bank job. It was fun. Fun? Too much fun. That's always been this family's problem. Fun. Good causes, a good laugh, some stupid dream or some stupid distraction. <laughs> but never any fucking focus. Never. Hmm. Focus. <sighs> All we've ever been is bitches, working for guineas, working for niggas, any asshole with a buck, a whole lot spent in a proper manner, oh yeah, wine and women as quick as possible, and remain a slave forever. Very poetical. Yeah, I know. National tragedy. <sighs> but I got a plan. You down friend. Maybe. What is it? Well, first up, we gotta create a little problem between the Ancelotti's and their Albanian muscle for Jimmy P. You're gonna plant a bomb in Tony Black's car. Be rigged to a phone. Thing will go off when you dial a number. I want it to blow when they get back from their meeting. So the Ancelotti's think the Albanians did it. Exactly. Bombs in an alley off of Inchin Avenue. Get it? Give me a call. You know, Packy was right for once. I'm glad you're on board. So, Jerry, I got this bomb. All right, listen. 
The Ancelotti's and the Albanians are meeting in Little Italy. Tony's car is parked in an alleyway off of Feldspar Street. Now you put the bomb in the trunk, then follow the wise guys from their meeting back to the rest of their crew, then you blow the bomb. Make sure no one walks away. It's easy, right? So easy, I don't see why you ain't doing this yourself. Nico, I wouldn't trust myself with this task. You ain't got a gallon of whiskey in your system, and besides, you're being paid, ain't you? Call me when it's done. know they got us over a barrel, Sal. At least it's better than dealing with those fucking drunken Irish bastards, though. Forget about it. Jerry, I hit the Ancelotti's crew real hard. Everyone got taken down. The rest of them should think the Albanian muscle is making a play. Yeah, I knew my brother wouldn't put his faith in a bum. They'll be at them elbows in no time. That's step one of the plan's complete. Come see me. We'll talk about step two. Oh, there he is. <laughs> the sophisticated European. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> so, how are you? All right, yeah. Cage! Don't stand there talking to him on the doorstep. Ask him in. Oh, come in. Ma, you remember the boy's friend, Nico? How are you? Good, and you? Put it like this. My boys are out of control. My daughter can't find a man. And my husband is in hell. I'm thinking, God moves in mysterious ways. Oh, 
That's mother for you. Always a joy. <laughs> <laughs> Nico! You made it, huh? <sighs> well, I'll leave you to your men's talk. I hope you impress each other. Hey, look at me. Yeah. Yeah. I thought so. You'll do fine. Fine at what? Some gimp work for the Pegarinos. I owed them. Oh, please. I do it myself, but I think I'm being watched by the cops. Someone. I think I'm about to get pinched again. Shit, really? Yeah, it's happened before. I keep seeing the same car watching. All it means is someone's been speaking, we just have to find out who and make them stop. In the meantime, i chill things out for a bit. So, I need your help. Okay. Atta boy. Come on, I got something to show you. Now, uh, Pegorino's a funny guy. Seems like his main motivation is putting his Guernsey crew on par with the five old families. Ancelotti's being the weakest, he's decided to stir shit up for him. Now, the Ancelotti's have an uneasy alliance with some Albanians. They use them as hitmen, thugs, bullies. I know the type. Much like Jimmy DeGuido uses us. So, what you're gonna do is disguise yourself as an Albanian and then go whack Frankie Garone, an Ancelotti longtime capo. Sure. Which Albanian? Uh, this one. Frankie Garone sleeping with the fishes. Anyone who saw us is going to describe the Albanian you got on ice. Alright, nice work. Yeah. I'll let Jimmy P know about it. Cut in on anything he throws my way. I don't know how long I'm gonna be outside, though. But the cops might knock down my door any moment. Take me in the head. Good luck with that, Jerry. Yeah, thanks. Please, look after my family if I go inside. Tell me Derek was back. What? Why didn't you tell me you was hanging around with my brother? I assumed if you cared, you'd have found out. Well, I have found out. Jesus, you know Derek's not well. No? No. He's sick. He always was. He's always off getting involved in someone else's fight, making a fool of himself, betraying people, going into hiding. He's an idiot and a coward. It's not my business. Whatever he stood for, he betrayed. He only left here in the first place because he was caught stealing from the Mafia. He's a pathetic wretch. Okay, I got it, so... Now, he's gonna ruin my life. If it wasn't bad enough having a bunch of crooks for brothers, now I've got him threatening to talk to a journalist about his family, about me! Well, tell him to be quiet. I am trying to become the commissioner of police. I'd be a laughing stock. Cop with the famous snitching traitor for a brother. Ugh. You know, the crooks I can handle. See, that I can spin. But not uh, this. Not this. Uh, you got the big problem then. Me? Uh -uh. We, my friend. We. You stop it. <coughs> stop? Stop. Stop. Kill your brother. He's already dead. Just pull. 
put him out of his misery. Fuck you. No, fuck you, pal. I'm gonna meet him in the courtyard park off Bismarck and Lancet. Deal with him. Make him a tragedy, not a disaster. Do it, or I will put you away. Oh, don't push me. I think I can make the meeting. You gotta take him out before he makes a move. This is Cain and Abel stuff, I'm telling you. Question is, which one of us is gonna be wandering the earth with a mark on his head, and who's gonna be six feet under, you know? This phone's running out of battery, shit! Look after me, Nico. Hey. Francis, I'm ready. What is the plan? I hope you got over yourself and are ready for some fratricide. Don't forget that I still got dirt on you. I know this ain't nice, but neither of us has a choice. It's sounding like I got no choice. One McCreary brother is going to get me to kill another. That's what I like to hear. I want you to take the window cleaning elevator on one of the buildings around back of the courtyard. Get in position and put Derek out of his misery. Shit, I better get ready to act surprised. Don't miss, Nico. You might hit me. I'll hit who I'm aiming at. Don't worry. Good, not good, not good. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Derek, my brother. Frankie, what's this about? I've gotta say. I'm nervous about this little meeting. Shit. When I heard you was back, I nearly shat myself. Sit down. Why didn't you call me? You could have slept on my couch. I'm doing real well for myself. Real well. I'm sorry about how life turned out for you. Police officer, come on, clear the area, clear the area! Derek, shit! He's my brother! You don't know the half. This is the last bit of juice I got on the stick. I did what you wanted me to do. I killed your brother. You don't think I know that? Christ, it happened right in front of me. I can feel you looking at me through that scope. Well, it's done. You and me are over. At least Jerry and Packy are honest about what they do. You're a crook, hiding behind his badge and the reputation. You know what, Frankie boy? I'm going to use that. I ever feel the heat on me? I'll call you, and you're going to make shit go away. That cool? Sounds like I don't have a choice. I don't know if you've heard it, but my brother Derek's dead. No shit. 
Yeah, I just hope he was smacked out of his brain when it happened, because it wouldn't have suited him to be jonesing when he died. There isn't any good way to go, though, is there? I guess not. Gerald got arrested, too. They got him in the Albany State Correctional Facility. They took Jerry down? Don't worry, he's always being hauled in, but the charges don't stick. Come to Derek's funeral. It means a lot to the family. It's today at the church in Suffolk. I'll stop by, man. I'll see you there. Remember to wear a suit, Vigo. We can't have you dressed like a bum in the church. Hey, Kate. I'm sorry to hear about your brother. Yeah. I didn't really know Derek that well. I remember looking up to him as a kid. He had a dream back then. He was inspired. The Derek that came back to Liberty City was broken. He probably wanted to die. Yeah. It still has to be hard for you. It's hard for my mom. I'm trying to be there for her. Are you going to be at the funeral? Sure. I'll see you there, Kate. Goodbye. And while no one is suggesting he was an angel, none of us are. That is why God put us on earth and not in heaven. The trials of humanity were sometimes too much for him to bear, but he was a committed family man and a man of beliefs. God asks us to show faith, and that is what he gave us in his way. Derek gave so much of himself and will be sorely missed by us all. Amen. Amen. Now, if you will all please join me in the procession to the cemetery. I'm uh, sorry for your loss. I'm not. I'm sorry for Ma. I gave up on my brothers a long time ago. The most I ever expected from them was to put flowers on their coffins. You've got a strange family. Who doesn't? I don't know. Derek in the graveyard in Steinway. Let's get there. There's a whole lot of air where the back door should be, Nico. Go easy on her and my brother will fall out. They're really giving it to him. Shit, we're taking a pound here. This ain't good, Nico. off a long time ago! We ain't looking pretty, man! Oh, oh, this ain't a fucking beating, I don't know what is! My brother's about to fall out the back of this thing! Christ, Nico! Brother, Nico! 
Nico, come on! Pull over to the side of the road. Don't these scum let up for a second? They're really giving it to us, Nico! Nico, calm it or we'll lose my brother! Nico, my brother's about to hit the road! Shit, we're taking a pounding! Christ, the casket's about to fall out! I think we finally lost him. If Derek was alive, he'd need a shitload of horse to deal with the stress of this situation. If Derek was alive, he wouldn't be in this situation. That's a valid point, Nico. Who knows what sort of situation we'd be in. Derek needed a good dose of smack to cope with most of the situations that life threw at him, though. You gotta admit that. We all have our ways of coping, Pecky. That was Derek's. He had the hard life. He's having a hard death, too, if this is anything to go by. I never knew it was so difficult to put a body in the ground. That's why I normally tie breeze blocks to him and throw him in the humble. Is that what you suggest we do with your brother? You're a sick man, Nico. I'd fucking slap you if I didn't love you so much. It's only consecrated ground for a brother of mine. We're about to lose my brother, Nico! Did you take driving lessons off of Katie? All right, we're fucking here. Let's bury this bastard. Thanks, Nico. What for? Derek never had many friends. He sort of lived in his own head. It means a lot, you coming here and helping this messed up family of mine. I did not come for Derek. I came for you and Packy. Like I said, thanks. Give me a call sometime, Nico. Hey, what's up, money? Hey. Come on. Ladies, give me a few minutes. Business calls. <laughs> this is my time. Look at it. All them tiny ants down there. Man, shit is crazy. So I guess you do okay. Yeah, okay. But uh, what about you? What motivates you? Hmm. Well, I need money. This pays. I can do it. I don't care if I live or die. And I'm looking for someone. Someone special? Yeah, you could say that. So, why do you need me? Well, I'm always looking for good guys. Build an army. But in my work, the people change. Money changes people, not me. See, I'm still a hustler from these streets. And I heard good things about you. Okay, but I'm warning you. I'm not low budget. <laughs> Do I look like I live low budget, dog? Your player! <laughs> fuck you want? There's someone here for you. Dwayne or some shit, I don't know. Motherfucker got out? Damn. My dude! What's up, son? What's going down? You didn't tell me you was getting out? Man, I would've laid on a party, got some freaks out. Shit. I called. Couple of times. Man, hey, Dwayne, 
uh, this is Nico. Hey. Nico Dwayne Ford. Taught me everything I know. Psst. Not everything. So, hey, man, where you staying? Do you need some money? What's the plan? What you mean, what's the plan? Pick up where we left off. I'm out, I'm back. We keep on rolling. You say we? Yeah, we. Unless you too fine. What, your silk sheet? Fancy dress wearing life too big for me now? Oh, hey, now I ain't saying that. You know what's mine is yours. You need help, just holler. Hell, this slob motherfucker any good, he can help you. But you know I do anything I can. Uh, but right now, we gotta roll. Just give me one second. Ain't folk quick to forget. Hmm. Some folk. Yeah, that's the truth. Where did you get out from? Preschool. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Dwayne, we gotta roll. Please make yourself at home. Hell, this is your home. Let's jet money. Motherfucker must think I'm an idiot. We go into Castle Gardens. There's an alley we want to hit up just off the South Parkway. All right. You heard of Yusef Amir? Big real estate developer? I don't know. I've heard a lot of names since I got here. This guy's a big developer. Are you and him having meetings about how to run the city? Not yet, but I got an idea about how me and him could get friendly. Some Italian dudes shut down his building site on some union bullshit. They all up in the place, strapped to their fronts with hard hats on and shit. Won't let nobody get near. What are you suggesting we do about it? You gonna go in there and get the mafia types off the site. Meantime, I'm gonna tell Yusuf how good we've been to him. That cat and me is gonna be tied as two cellmates on lockdown after this. What's in it for me? I'll give you what you after. Cold, hard cash. That what you chasing, right? Amongst other things. I don't know how good your plan is, though, Playboy. If I get rid of the guys on the site, then won't there be more? If it's a union problem, doesn't that make it bigger than a few guys with guns? Shit. Union is just another word for mafia. These cats is looking to squeeze our boy Amir for dollars just because he ain't from here. When we fuck their people up, they'll realize that he ain't a cat to be messed with, and they'll back off, okay? Shit. Yusef is from Dubai. He's an African, and he's coming to Liberty City to make it big. It's my duty to watch this cat's back. My ancestors came from Africa. Now he's coming out a bit later. Me and him could be cousin shit. I think you might want to look at the map, Playboy. Dubai isn't in Africa. Shit, it all the same. Africa, America, Dubai. It don't matter. We're brothers. Spiritually, I mean. And that's the important bit. I left some heat for you in that car, money. You're gonna be strapped. Sniper rifles, grenades, all that shit. Yo, there's three lookout cats making sure no one makes move on the site. You best take them out with the rifle before you hit up the rest of them. I'm gonna get in the position where I can see all the shit going down. If you can take out the main cats, then the rest of them shouldn't be a problem. When you in there, I'll give you the lowdown on where these main cats is at. You might be better seeing the lookouts from up here too, money. Shit. I needed to find a cat like you. A badass motherfucker who ain't afraid to take fools down. Yeah, well, I need money, so you're in luck. You're gonna kick some ass down there, boy. I'm backing you up.
all them lookouts gone, money. Get in there and free up the site. See you soon, Playboy. Okay. Oh, I just want to get in there and make shit happen. Immigrant scabs. We're gonna fight to keep this place closed. You ain't gonna be able to beat the union. This is a union matter. Get
I got rid of all the union problems on this site. As you can see, this place is going to need a cleanup before any workers come in. You the money, son. You says PA won't put me through to the cat. But when they hear about this shit, they're gonna start listening to Playboy. I appreciate what you're doing for me. There be so many fake cats out there. You remember my man, Dwayne? Sure, just got out of the pen. Old friends aren't paying him no mind. Yeah, that's what he thinks. He got friends all over the shop, but he's living in the past. Now, I need you to go over to the Governor Greg Johnson Project over in Northwood. He holding up there and needs help with some shit. You assist this broke ass, I'll send some paper your way. I owe that fool. Can't pay back a biatch. Peace out, money. Yeah? Who are you? Can you remind me? That doesn't matter. You need to meet me outside the United Liberty Paper Building in Algonquin. It is very important that you be there. Goodbye. Now, now don't pretend that nobody told you when the fires come in here and start licking at your feet. All right? Don't pretend that. You heard. You're doomed. Y'all all do. You been ah! You want some more? you. You alone? Yeah, how you doing? Fucking great. What you think? Yeah, it's hard leaving with the past, huh? Yeah, especially when the presence turned into an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bitch. Nobody wants to roll with me no more. It's like I'm tainted. What do you mean? Playboy don't want to hang no more. He pays for you to come over instead. My girlfriend, the love of my fucking life. Man, I was pulling moves in the joint so this bitch could pay rent. Now she won't answer the phone. Man, I gave her everything when I was inside. Cars, houses, apartments, bank accounts, everything. <clears throat> I heard she hanging with Javon now. Who? Some punk who fucking talked. Swears he wasn't involved in me going down, but I knew. I knew his ass was lying. Now motherfuckers fucking my girl? Mm. For real? Shit is fucked up, man. Sometimes I just want to end this shit. Just bam. But I ain't there yet. Mm -mm. Not quite. Listen, why don't you go talk to her? Psh, ain't shit to say. Then I'll go speak to both of them. They'll ask for your money back, and if they don't agree, I'll make them. Where did they hang out? At some arcade in Chinatown. Uh, look, man, don't bother. No, I'll bother. I'm getting paid. And besides, you remind me of me. Uh-huh.
Hey, are you the two snakes who played Dwayne Forge when he was in the joint? He wants his money. What? Dwayne must have finished his bid. Shit. He gonna be mad angry. Cho, who you think you're fighting, Bone the Clock? Wayne don't need to worry about having that girl's blood on his hands on top of everything else. Hey, Dwayne, I've got your money. Why don't you meet me at Clocking Bell so I can give it to you? Great. Thanks, son. See you soon. collected on that debt for you. They paid up? Guess my name still means something out there. People are still scared of me. They are. I got rid of Javon for you, but I let your ex go. That fool Charisse, she just couldn't help herself. She always told me she'd burn me good. Guess I should've listened. Happy she ain't dead, though. She just an idiot. Peace, man. Dwayne? What's up? Not much. How are you doing? I'm done. I can't cope no more, man. I mean, prison was easy compared to this shit. I'm sure it was. Fuck it, man. Fuck it all. I mean, I used to have everything. I used to run uptown. Bohan, all that shit. Now I ain't shit. Hey, let's get it back. No. I can't, man. I ain't got the energy no more. I've been stabbed in the back too many fucking times. I mean, there's bitches everywhere. Well, I'll do it. For you, I mean. Nah, fuck that. Come on, man. Stop being so miserable. What did you lose? Shit, man. This club. I'm talking real gentleman's place. It's called the Triangle Club on Drill Street in Bohan. I'm talking real class, you know what I'm saying? But when I went down, some fucking gangsters came and took it. Well, I'll clean out the squatters for you. No problem. Man, you the real deal. I owe you. Big time. But we'll talk about that later. Man, you the truth. Another time. See? 
Brasil. Funds on left as okay. That's it. Mostly good. Mostly? Yeah. Dwayne's been getting on my nerves. Pushing me, man. But whatever. We spoke about that shit already. I give him time. He's just out of prison. <laughs> For real. Listen, G. Dwayne ain't the only thing I got on my mind. No? No. Some motherfucker's been calling me a phony. Calling me a snitch. Calling me all kinds of bullshit. Big deal. Yeah, big deal. Damn right. Until I discover that same motherfucker, well, he's got some real loose lips. Not bad. So, you need this guy silenced? Yeah, he hangs out with his team near the courts on Exeter between X and W. Okay, what does he look like? Well, son ain't too diesel or nothing. And he a regular looking dude, know what I mean? Now, he don't flash his guap too much, but you can see it in his eye. He a hustler. Eh? <sighs> Homie ain't too brolic, but he ain't scrawny neither. And he be styling on him a little, you dig? I mean, he ain't too bummy, but he grimy too. So he's the average one? Look, he's brown skin B. Motherfucker be rocking baggy clothes, all that. Jewels, and he stay fresh with the clean sneakers. Know what I mean? And sometimes a bandana. Look, I need more than that to go on. Jesus! Here, take this. Head down there, take a photo, send it to me, and I'll point out which one of them motherfuckers it is. Fine. And that's a little gift for you. ain't doing nothing this season. They got no one who can work the lanes, man. Shit, Lieutenant. That's something I was forced into from the necessity of my financial situation. My body is forced to rob and deal in order to sustain my own well-being and that of my immediate family.
Yo, money. Marlon's the one in the black jacket. Smoking. Sure. is dead. You the man, son. You money. You my ice cold Slavic killer. See you soon. What's up, money? Hey, man. Business is tough. Now, I ain't a cold person. I mean, I am cold, but motherfucker. What are you talking about? You want a drink? Uh, man, have a seat, man. All right. Now, I got into this dope gang because it was the only thing that was open to me, man. The only thing, man. Hey, I am not judging. No, listen. Now, I paid my dues. Now, I learned in a hard school, man. And I changed stuff. You know me. I do this stuff so I got a chance to do some good in this town. So you say. So I say. So I do. When I get the money, man, I will build parks. I will sponsor kids. I will save lives. But I gotta have the money, man. Is all this? All this, it means nothing if you ain't got the heart, Nico. Amen, brother. <laughs> I mean, fuck, man. Fuck! The thing is, you know, Jesus, he did some crazy shit, too. I mean, everyone does. He killed people. He killed that John the Baptist cat. He did what he had to. I don't think you're correct about that. Man, the point is, man, history is a long time. And you only got one chance. And Dwayne, man, Dwayne, it's like he thinks it's 1992, and the best that you could hope for is a gold chain and a pager. You know, he looks at me like he wants me dead. I took care of business. I gave him money, but because I won't bow down to him and treat him like he the almighty, motherfucker wants to pop me. Dwayne is a little troubled. He was in prison a long time. Maybe you guys should talk. No, I tried talking. No, I, I, I tried giving him half of the business. I tried everything a man could reasonably try and still call himself a man. <laughs> so what you gonna do? Kill him? Hey, I didn't say that. Man, you cold. I was joking. But what else is there? I mean, Cash been talking. Now I hear things. Said you and me was too tight now. Said you disrespected him. Called him mad. <laughs> he's going crazy. I mean, he's gone. Prison does that. Well, you can't kill him. Nope. But you can. But I don't want to. Well, neither do I, man. But if he goes insane, we all dead anyway. I mean, Dwayne is a killer. Ah. I don't like this conversation. Do you think that I do? But it's kill or be killed out there. You got a lunatic after you? Man, you dumb. <coughs> now, I will give you a lot of money. Because see me? Now, I ain't scared of no one. But a motherfucker says he's gonna kill me, the motherfucker's gonna die. Huh. Man, I'm not sure. I got to think about it. Well, I hope you see some sense. I will be in touch. Ever made sense? Three meals a day, 
arm in the yard, locked down at eight. He's out here as mad crazy. Tell me about it. Wanna down low? I think Playboy wants me dead. Might just let him do put a cap in my dome. End it all. That what you want? Seriously? Nah, fuck that shit. I ain't ready to go out yet. I need you to get him for me. I can't do it myself. He was my boy back in the day. That's something I won't be able to forget. You seem like you got my back, Nico. Help me out on this one, dog. I'll stick by you till the end. Take him out for me. That's a pretty heavy request, Dwayne. Playboy was your best friend. And he's always been straight with me, more or less. I'll have to think about it. Hey, it ain't our problem, Playboy. It's yours. That said, I know what I'm going to do. Is that right? You cold, Nico. Peace and love. Something so bad, feel so good. Good mother, my dude. Ew, Playboy X. <laughs> Yo, Whitey's back. Yo, what you doing? You got rid of Dwayne already? <laughs> I thought the old dog would have put up more of a fight. <laughs> I didn't kill Dwayne. Well, what you doing back here, then? Step to it, motherfucker. Well, I was thinking that maybe Dwayne is not the problem. Maybe it's you. Motherfucker! You think you can touch this shit? You think I got here by letting little bitches like you fuck with me? I own you! Nobody owns me! You shouldn't have asked me to hey, kill Dwayne, playboy! Get this motherfucker! Control this shit! You're a bad joke, playboy! Another motherfucker gone and let the money go to his head. I took this shit to the next level. Cats like you just can't accept that. You didn't change the game. The game changed you. Dwayne, I dealt with Playboy. You should know that he asked me to end you first. He was going to pay me a lot of money to do it. Shit, man. He was a good kid back in the day. Always hungry, though. Always wanted more. Maybe I should have seen it then. Kept a closer eye on him. You can't predict what people will become. You're right. I can't give you no money for helping me, son. But I got the deed to Playboy's fancy silk sheet cloth. You can have it. Hey, man, I seen where you're living. You should take it. Nah, 
You'll make me remember the kid too much. Maybe you'll stop by my place sometime, though. Hang out with me. I don't have many friends left, you know. I'll give you a call sometime soon, Dwayne. Later on. Hello? 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 Hey, man! Hey, nigga! What's up? What's up? So glad you could make it, man. Seriously. Fucking A! You're for real, man. You're... You okay, bro? No, I'm fine, man. I got a couple of bitches upstairs. Hot ones, not cheap. Nice. Hey, man. You wanna join in? No, I'm, I'm cool, man. I'm cool. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Oh, to be honest, anyway, after I finish with them, they'll be out of commission anyway. I'll bang them to pieces. After I finish with them, they'll look like they've been dragged through the fucking desert. <laughs> oh, wow, good for you, man, good for you. Listen, so, um, what'd you want? <sighs> you see this city? I own it. Everything. Seriously. Really? No. But one day. I'm building 60 skyscrapers, man. Condos, penthouses, luxury apartments. Serious shit. But I tell you, oh man, oh I love this song. You know this song? Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, rap money. <laughs> hey, you know that? Now with dudes, bro. <laughs> you see this city? I run it. I run everything. I show everyone. I mean, look at this shit here. This is a gold phone. Solid. Beat that, daddy. Oh, wow, great, man. That's great. <laughs> I'm the real deal, nigga. I'm the real fang. Sure, bro. Sure. So what do you say? You gonna help me out? Tony says you can handle yourself. Maybe, man. What do you need? I need to shut my fucking father up. Oh, I ain't killing your father, bro. No, I know you're not. I needed to get a helicopter for him. You know? And I found it. It's a military issue. Beautiful machine. Sexy. The company that built it, they have a display model on their boat. And that will shut him up. You know, show him I've got good connections, you know, and uh, pay him the respect he deserves. Is that porn playing up there, bro? <laughs> no, man. That's real women. Trust me. And I ain't paid shit. Okay, so you want me to get you a helicopter, and that'll make your dad happy. Mm. You better be the real deal, man. <laughs> you know, I tell Tony that we work together, huh? I'm going to make you both very rich men. We'll open up nightclubs all around the world. China, Pakistan, Timbuk fucking too, anywhere you want. <sighs> you know what this means? You and I, we are brothers, we're partners. Okay. Give me a call when you get there. Now I've got to attend to some business. Ladies, prepare to suffer. Awwahi. Please make a U-turn where safe.
little baby, the buzzard. She will pick the bones of your enemies clean.
Hey, Louise, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, Troy? Tony inside? No, he's not here yet. Uh, did you talk to him? Who? Tony, about me. What about you? About me working here, man. I can't do it no more. I ain't queer, and it's doing my head in. Bro, you work for a guy whose nickname since 1985 is Gay Tony. Why do you give a fuck? Because I want to be married, man. You know, I want to have a nice life. I want to pick a fence in Alderney. I want to raise kids, play ball, you know? And look at me. Bro, I don't know what to tell you, man. Desi's the man of Mason, okay? This is the job we got for you. If you don't like it, fuck off, I guess. If you do, shut the fuck up and stop being a moron. Don't be like that, man. You know me. I'm an artist. I've got songs in me. Hello. Maybe if Tony could hear me sing, yeah, thanks. I, I, I'd yeah. be okay here. It's me. You're the fucking doorman, bro, not the cabaret. What's wrong with you? You're real tense, man. And you used to be cool. Hey, Troy! Hey, how's business? Luis, come on, let's go. Uh, pretty quiet. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> what is wrong with you people? Don't you know a good time when you see one? Jesus! When even the queens don't want to get wrecked, you know this city is turning into a fucking suburb! All right, Luis! Get in the car. Gracie, sweetheart, in the back. Tony, can I have a word? No! No. Let's go. Take us out of Gracie's place at Alderney, will you? It's on Babbage Drive. War, Mr. Blogger? It's on.
Hope the internet is worth it. Luis, how'd you like his sight? Yeah, I can't believe people read that shit. No wonder we didn't let that buck tooth bastard in. But you schmoozed him, didn't you? I was my most charming digital self. Like one of them internet vigilantes pretending to be 12. Thanks, El. Let's see where it goes. You tell him I don't care. A, bi a billion dollars is chump change. What does a billion dollars buy anyway today? Doesn't even buy a million dollars. No, you tell him that. You tell him Yusuf Amir is speaking. That name does mean something in this town. Hello, one second. Hello? Excuse me. Hello? Hello, who is this? Papa! Ah, Papa, how are you? Yes, Papa, yeah, it's a present. It's a gift. Oh, no, you didn't pay for it. I did. Well, I didn't pay for it, so you didn't. But Papa, it's, 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 it's complicated. I miss you, Papa. I do. Yes, I'm close to closing the deal. The biggest tower. You're going to be so proud of me. Well, ten million dollars is maybe a little bit too much to spend in a month, but you know, it was necessary. No, Papa, no, no, that's not fair. No, 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 no. That... Papa, they're not prostitutes. They're loose women. Papa, Papa, hello, Papa. <laughs> hey, it's you, my friend. How you doing? How you doing? What's up, Papa? Trouble with your old man? No, it's my father. Okay. Yeah, family can be tough, man. He's a very conservative man. He doesn't understand what I'm doing here. He thinks my life is one long party. A reckless orgy of sex, drugs, and spending. <laughs> really? <laughs> He's deluded. I think I work my fingers to the bone. To the bone! You know, last week, I got exhausted test driving sexy cars. I had to fly to Vice City and bang bitches for two weeks just to recover. I'm a workaholic, man. A workaholic, homie. Yeah, evidently. And now I have to meet Ahmed and his brother to take a business meeting, and I love those guys, they're like family, but oh, God, it's going to exhaust me. How's that? These guys, they're always going on about how rich they are. Dude, the money here, the money there. You know what they are, Luis? I'll level with you. They're very, um, what's the word? Um, tacky. No taste. I mean, I love those guys, but seriously, come on. Okay, well, I, I guess I'll see you later then. No, 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 no. Hey, you're coming with me, baby. You need to hang around. You gotta act like we're friends. Shit, we are friends, baby. Make out that we got shit going down. Going down, my nigga. Anyway, <clears throat> let's go. Let's bounce, baby. When I say bounce, I don't mean bouncing literally. I, mean, I, I know what it means. Yes. It's a term from the street meaning you have to walk. <clears throat> but if you don't get that, it's a bit like a. Uh, Roll me, you have to roll me. You're not like a fat man rolling. It means actually can just we walk. Can we just go? Just... Cruise on up to Rotterdam Tower. We got some meat, man. In 400 yards. No one will fuck with you. I'm giving you this special auto shotgun with explosive shells. Thanks, bro. Let's hope I don't have to use it. Excuse me a moment, please. I have to call Ahmed. Make sure it's all cool and safe at that. Yo, Ada, what's up? Tell those bitches at Rotterdam, theirs ain't gonna be the tallest tower for long. Yusuf's in town, baby. And your shit about to be inadequate. Yeah, shit, I'm coming, man. Chill the F out. You so head up a bump. Papa ain't in town, is he? No, oh, thank goodness. It's not Papa. I can't think why you are so agitated. Calm down, dude. I'll see you in a moment. I know that man too well. Something is afoot. He's acting like a bitch and I can't figure out why. It may be nothing, but I've got a sixth sense for this shit. Do you mind going up to the observation deck and conversating with them? Thank you, brother. Call me when you know it's all right, all right? Here you for then. Hi, man, I'll check it out.
Ahmed! <laughs> Lewis, my man! Where's Yusuf? What's going on, bro? What do you mean, what's going on? Chill, homeboy! <laughs> Look at the real estate! The Enjoy! Yusuf! You said he'd be here! Yo, what's wrong with you, man? Yo, what's going on? Who the fucking knows we're in the shit? What do I know? I, I, I told you to chill, man! Uh, shit! Uh, Tell no. me what, what I just walked into! Shit! Shit! Tell shit. me! Please, what are you doing? I'm, I'm sorry! Don't! Shit! Fuck you! No! Man, this town is full of degenerates. soon after. Oh, whatever do you mean? Dude took a dive down to sea level, bro. Motherfuckers set you up with a noose so they could take your business. I cannot believe it. They were brothers to me. I, I, I would have brought them anything they wanted. Sometimes, bro, money ain't enough. I have a deep sadness in me, Luis. Will you join me, please? For an orgy of champagne, cocaine, women, watermelons, and whatever else the city may have to offer. We must forget them. You're gonna have to do the forgetting by yourself, man. I got a lot of other business to deal with. I'll see you around, man, okay? Hey, bro. 
Nigga! Yo, uh, this is uh, Janelle. As Janelle, nigga. I think you want to moderate your use of the word, bro. It's not fucking cool, all right? Listen, are we going to do this or what? I'm on the fucking clock, man. Oh, chill, baby. Get into it. Feel it. Let's go. Ho. Yo, what's wrong with you, man? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with me, homeboy. I'm going to build the biggest fucking building in this fucking town. The biggest. My name will go down in history. Yeah, I don't doubt that, man. What you want? Well, I heard from a friend that we can get some real hardware. A bit like the chopper, but better, partner. Better. Yeah, I don't think I can handle any more of that shit, partner. Mm. I'm talking something seriously intense. How about a mother fucking noose tank? Give it up, bro. Come on. Come on! Hey, what you need a noose tank for, man? What are you, crime fighting now? I want it. Come on, baby, you and me doing our tank thing? Just rolling like some desert storm niggas. Huh? Ooh, uh, Chinese person. Bye-bye, nigga. <laughs> you fucking ridiculous, man. Hey, man. Money, is it money? Is that money you want? Here, here, have it. But come on, let's go get this thing. Come on, come on, baby, get up, come on. Let's go again, to the left. And we got an A-Rap money, come on, baby. We got an A-Rap money. You, sir. Whoa, papa. What are you doing here? Welcome, welcome, papa. Uh, this is my business associate, uh, and, um, uh, Mr. Uh, Luis. Mr. Uh, Mr. Luis. Allah, he is the greatest uh, technical advisor in the whole city. And uh, this is his wife, John This. <clears throat> Careful, motherfucker! Uh, yes, and uh, you know, we were Yo. just having a little right. creative meeting and things were a bit crazy, and uh, I somehow lost my pants. <laughs> but you know, Papa, I tell you, you are looking. You're looking very well, in fact. I knew how disgraceful you were, but I didn't realize quite how shameful you were. No. Ah, things are not how they look. <laughs> things do not look good, son. Don't judge a book by its cover, father. That's what you taught me. When a book is called guns, drugs, hookers, and no pants, I think I don't need to read it. Well, Papa, you know, these people, they mean nothing to me. In fact, they're just going, go, get out. You, Mr. Lewis, take your wife. Mrs. Lewis, and may I say, madam, this is not a very uh, appropriate way for a married woman to dress. I told them many times, father, this is a disrespectful way to dress. Do they listen to me? No, never. And you, by the way, I'll text you uh, in about one minute about the tank, okay? The news tank? Shh! Go and leave right now. Don't you dare come back without knocking first. These people are a disgrace, papa. But I tell you, moving swiftly on, you will be very proud of my plans I want to show you for the Imperial Amir Towers. I tell you, Papa, Magisterial doesn't do justice to it. <coughs> Yusuf? Luis, I think I can give old Papa that slip. Meet me in Star Junction. Really, bro? I'm coming, Dada. Just hold on. See you soon, my friend. Please make a U-turn where safe. What do you think my one problem on the line is you took it these? Yards. Turn right. You have arrived. Skilled.
Hey, Lou, come on in. Hang on one second. Check mate. See ya! <laughs> Little thicko never went to college. I never got into an Ivy League school. I got into two! Yeah! Come on, let's get out of here.
Ouch, man. That's gotta be an expensive race for you. Bullshit, man. Someone must have sabotaged me or something. No, shit, no, I wanted to lose. You think ponies cash me shit to me? I got other investments. Yeah, good for you, Tiny. So, um, do we gotta see each other again? I told you, Louie, one more job. I got some cars to procure and you're gonna help me. Come by Brucey's and we'll hit it. Yeah, all right, bro. I gave my word. 32! 33! 30... Oh, come on! Ah! Come on, one more! Come on! Ah! Screw you, Morty! Why you gotta be such a cock? Oh, I'm sorry. Go oh, fuck you, Maury. Fuck me? <laughs> fuck me? You can't fuck me, baby B. Name one thing you have ever been able to fuck me at. One thing. Huh? I lift more weights. I fly better choppers. I have better cars. I screw better women. Hell, I screw women. My bling ain't CZ, and my paper ain't a photocopy. What's up, Lou? So again, one! Ah. Hey, Maury. I gotta side with your brother on this one, man. I mean, you're fucking annoying. I mean, I work in nightclubs. I hang out with gangsters. I meet assholes 24 hours a day. But you, you take the cake, man. Oh, oh geez, I'm sorry. Sorry that I'm trying to toughen up my little bro here. My little bro who I love more than life itself. And you think that you can interfere with that? Yeah, I think maybe you're taking the tough love thing a little too far, man. I mean, I got sent to juvie when I was 17 years old for shooting a teacher who felt up my sister. They tried the tough love thing with me. It didn't fucking work too well. So maybe try a different fucking approach. You know what? I think you might be right. Come on, baby B. Let's hug it out. Yeah? Let's hug it out. Okay! I love you. I love you, I do. I love you. It's just, the truth is I'm, I'm jealous. I am, I'm jealous. I'm jealous that, that you, Dating such a wonderful guy as Lou here. It's Luis. Whatever. I'm only kidding. Come on. J Jesus, you guys are a couple of pent up queens, I swear. Come on. Let's go have some fun, huh? You too, B. Come on. Stop sulking. Jesus, you're pathetic. <laughs> I love you, but you are such a pussy. Come on. Hey, we're picking these cars up on the north side of Middle Park. Hey, I got a gift for you bitches. Some headsets, so I can tell you what to do later. Hey, Brucey, bro, it's good to hang with you. I'm really happy you're along on this ride. Morning, bro, are you a fucking with me? Come on, little B. Hey, what do you take me for? It's good to have Lopez along, too, right? Hey, the three amigos. <laughs>
Hey, buddy, thanks for the tip-off. Here you go. Oh, thanks, bro. Hey, don't go spend that all in one place, chump. All right, people. Money talks and idiots walk. Bro, uh, uh, give me a car, will you? Push the button. There you go, bro. started shitting his panties when the cop showed up. <laughs> hey, check it out, Brucey. You know, I think Lou here might be even slightly bigger pussy than you. <laughs> we're done, right? I mean, we're squared. You got your cars now, so now I don't have to sit here and listen to your tiny man bullshit. <laughs> sure, sure, Lou. Sure, sure, sure. You could go. If you're as dumb as you look. Ooh. Excuse me? You got an opportunity here. Look at me. Look at me. Watch my lips move. I can teach you things. <laughs> Come on, think apprentice, think uh, intern, minion, yeah, think uh, squire boy. You, following me all around, learning to become a business mastermind. No more clubs, no more Tony Queen. You, my friend, could be free. <laughs> Maury, is this a joke, man? I mean, you're the guy that needs to learn something. Oh. Shit, you're awful, bro. I mean, maybe someone can teach you the most basic human behavior. Brucey, please, do this guy a favor. Brucey. Me? Yeah, you're the guy in the family with some manners. Whoa. You think that I could learn something from little B here? The marshmallow man. More. This pale piece of turd. All right, cut yeah. it out, M. The man is nothing but beyond right. pathetic. That's it, boy! Cut it out! Yeah! Yeah! Are yeah. you kidding? Yeah! <laughs> oh, oh! Oh, God! Oh! Yeah! What the fuck, man? What the fuck are you doing? Oh, God, you know the rules! Oh, I'm sorry, Maury, I forgot, man! Never, never in the face! Oh, come on! This is, this is 
top work up here. You know that I got a week in Zephtum. Okay. Oh, just, just, just don't tell Mom, okay? Okay? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Just, you're gonna take me home. <laughs> yeah, shit, okay, yeah, shit. Come on, let's go. Okay, okay, come on. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Hey, I'll see you ladies later, okay? Yeah, uh... Uh, I'll see you at the club or something. Okay. I heard something. Hey, yo, what's happening, boss? You been hanging out with people behind my back? I've been trying to make us some money. Yeah. You have anything to do with a little boating accident that went down and it's all over the news? Me? I don't even like swimming. Good, because the people on that... There was shit. I, I heard. No, I'm shitting with you. They were armed smugglers, pitched to some of the worst governments in West Africa. But I had you. I fucking had you. You fucking idiot, Luis. Don't turn into a freedom fighter. We don't have the luxury of that right now. And stop going solo on me. Not now. I wasn't involved, T. Of course not. But if I had been, it would have been for us, for the business. Sure. You be careful, Luis. <laughs> She comes. Watch out, boy, she'll chew you up. Whoa, here she comes. She's a man. Problem, man. Where's Tony? <laughs> Where's Tony? Where's Tony? What's wrong with? Hi, Evan. You're looking cut. Hi, Evan. Like a drink? Hi, Evan. If I wasn't straight, I'd ravage you right now. Evan, where's Tony? He said meet him here. <sighs> Who cares about fucking Tony? The man's a neurotic. He's back on drugs. He's looking old. He refuses to get any work done. And <laughs> P.S. The man's a wreck. Then break up with him for the last time and fuck off out of all of our lives, please. <laughs> wow. Somebody's got his sister's underwear on by mistake. I you, you. Evan, look, I always thought that even for a coke and steroid junkie, you were a particular asshole. Okay, I'm just gonna admit that. Now, would you shut the fuck up before I shut you up? Now, where's Tony? He's in the bedroom. <sighs> ah. Hey, Tony, get up. Ah, piss off. Come on, get up, man. Let's go. <clears throat> ah, piss off. I wanna die. Okay, man, if that's how you want it. Come on. Let's go. Better? Yo, oh, great. Come on, puppy. Let's go. This way. This way. What? Come on. Oh, come on, fuck this. Oh. Oh, so we have something to take care of. I ain't having you screw up. I should have let your parole officer put you back in prison all those years ago. You're a degenerate. Uh, what about me? You guys can't just leave me here. Uh, yeah, good point. Uh, 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 Fuck off, Evan. You getting the pills. Be gone before I get back. Let's go, puppy. Come on, you got it. Let's go. Uh, uh, I'm good. Fucking hetero! Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? I, I forgot something. Forgot what? The, the, the explosives. Explosives? Explosives? Yo, what's wrong with you, man? You want a nightclub, not a terror cell. Ow, Rocco's gone nuts. He's gonna burn the clubs down for insurance. He's gonna fucking kill us. Yeah, he's gone crazy, and you're running around with some bombs, okay? What kind of drugs do you want? I hope they're strong. I told him I'd take care of his union problems for him. It, it's, uh, it's the only way out. Either that or they kill me. Yeah, I wish you'd talk to me about this first, man, okay? Blowing shit up ain't exactly your side of the business, okay? It's not your forte. What do you care about the business? You got your, your fucking head in the clouds, huh? You think you're a big shot. You're a nothing, and soon you're gonna be a dead nothing. Yeah, no doubt, boss. Now where are you going? <sighs> think I got a guy digging up Frankfurt Avenue for Liberty Electric. Okay, what else? And the, the, the transport workers guy is uh, driving an out-of-service subway train through North Holland. I'm gonna take the whole thing out. A subway train? Jesus Christ, please tell me that's it. The, the head of the LTA is out of France International in his private jet. And you'll probably blow yourself up as soon as you walk out the door. You ain't doing this. I got to. It's the only way you can survive. Get out of my way. <laughs> Sorry, as much as I'd like to right now, I'm not letting you kill yourself. Try and stop me, huh? Hey. Okay. Oh, oh. 
Shit, Tony. You're a piece of fucking work, you know that? Bullshit, or were you gonna insist on blowing yourself up? I got us into this mess. Exactly, man. Thank you, partner. You should know that Evans walked out on me. We're over. Yeah, I heard that before, T. If it's real this time, it's a good thing. He's dragging you down, man. He's a fucking parasite. You need to concentrate on getting your own life together. See you soon. That's what I told him. Hey, I'm all good, baby. How you doing, ID? Hey, Desi. Hey, what's up, man? What's up, man? Tony in? Uh, yeah, he got it a while ago. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, what's my name, baby? What's my name? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah. You're a lake. Sorry, man. Something came up. No doubt. What's going on? I'm trying to figure a way out of this shit. I got a plan to keep that pair of chumps, Rocco and Vince, happy. Come on. I'll explain as we go. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's a, it's a quick hello. Quick hello. Gentlemen, my name's Tony Prince. Hope you're enjoying yourselves. Great Bulgari. Tell me, what are the women? <laughs> well, they're, they're everywhere. It's, uh, that one over there is a TV starlet. That one there is a model. And that one uh, there, I don't know, but I believe you just signed on with the Derriere campaign. How much? The fuck I need? <laughs> no, 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 no. They're not hookers. This is not that kind of club. Everywhere is this kind of club. You just need to know how much to pay. Yeah, <laughs> listen. Uh, can I buy you a gentleman a drink? Cindy! Cindy, come here. Take care of Mr. Volker in here. It's good to meet you. Please come back. Enjoy your night. My uh, right hand man, Luis, will take care of you. You like good night. Shock. Thank you. So, yes, please. Let's go. So, how's it going, gentlemen? Agatha's boss. Sure. Last night for funny times at Donnerstein. Hysterical. Hysterical. Where does the call come from? I don't know about that shit. I just make sure people don't get killed. How very boring. I prefer 22. You should come back on a busier night then. Normally it's more for the books if I did. Yo! Hi, hi. Target, not so much. Hey, hey, gentlemen, thank you. Uh, Luis, you gotta go. Good night. Jesus. Russia. Richer than the church. Buy this place, end all our troubles. You can't look that like Russian gangsters. He says it's just a really no problem. Gotta go to Bahama Mamas. Calculating route. Turn now Mamas is more Rocco style than our man. Tell me he's gonna start hanging out with all that bridge and tunnel crowd rather than us. Don't we wish? No, sadly, he just wants you to talk to a lady in there. Yo, D, I ain't heard of no lady for Rocco. They just want you to hit on her. She's an old friend of yours, Monique, from the Derriere store in Suffolk. Monique? Shit. After that thing with her roommate? I don't think that's gonna fly. What they want me hitting on girls for? They want you to get at her boyfriend. He owns the place, but he's in Venturis now. So I'm some fucking gigolo now? Perfect. I never seen you complain about chasing women before. Well, I've never been forced to chase them before. Do you what you do best, partner. You ain't coming. Please, you think having a pasted old queen on your arm is some kind of aphrodisiac? Just Wait. try and forget it's a job. Come on, The honey. day has finally come, T. You've become my pimp, no way, and I time. finally lost my self-respect. Later, bro. Please, Hopefully please. all the work it out. Stop any bad smoking shit. No sale. Sure is.